So just to kind of go over our objectives today is we'll be able to identify five principles of safe and effective handling, and then we will also be able to apply some of these um, safety measures. Um, so first, I am going to pass out, oh, not this, these pieces of paper. And as I'm passing these out to each person, can some people just shout out kind of what they know about um, livestock handling? You don't have to raise your hand. If you can just shout it out for me, that would be awesome. Can you just stay calm at all times? Stay calm at all times. I like that. Sorry, you'll have two pages each. Anyone else think of anything that they know? Who, who works with livestock? The majority. So what are you, whenever you're working with those livestock, what are you always remembering? Don't rush. Don't rush. Don't yell. Yelling, yeah. So kind of what we were talking about with our calm demeanor. I know the name sense are trying to kind of tricky. Don't worry if they don't stay up. Sorry, you should have two each.
Give me a thumbs up whenever your group is ready. I think we're getting close to it. So the area on an animal and if entered can be alarmed and alarm the animal. So it's basically like how easily the animal spook, what it's comfortable with, and all this depends on the animal and their comfortability with the place they're in. I like that. Gathering the act of herding livestock into a specific location. Um, just group them together. Gathering G, group G goes together. Perfect. <laughs> Behavior, instincts, hardwired animals can be performed without prior knowledge of the situation. Just pretty much how it's acting. Yeah, perfect. Okay, group four, I think it's here in the back. Um, learn behaviors, knowledge gained from experience. For example, um, teaching a dog. And then we have loading. The act of moving livestock onto trailers to be transported. For example, like running sheep onto a trailer. Nice, easy enough. Okay, group five. Thank you. 